The first official day of winter is Wednesday, and that means plenty of this. Ice skating, sledding, ice skating again, and playing out in the snow for the kiddos. However, there are some potential dangers when it comes to winter fun. 33 News reporter Megan Lee spoke with a local doctor about how to have fun without winter injuries. We all remember the days of sledding on a snow day or even ice skating with friends around the holidays. Staying safe with these fun activities starts before you head out the door. It's just making sure you're dressed appropriately, um, you know, having your extremities covered. You worry about things like frostbite with, you know, prolonged exposure to the cold. So, you know, wearing hats, gloves, um, you know, having adequate um, you know, boots or something warm for your feet. And if your family is planning on heading to the ski slopes, Dr. Johnston recommends, you know, wearing a helmet, wearing the uh, appropriate uh, protective equipment. Dr. Johnston, an orthopedic surgeon, tells me that wrist sprains are common out on the ice rinks. Things like playing hockey, figure skating, those types of things. You know, you can consider wearing some wrist brace to, to hopefully help those types of things. And if your child does fracture or break a bone while participating in winter fun. But most kids that are still what we call skeletally, skeletally mature, meaning they're still growing, they have a pretty high propensity to heal. A lot of fractures that you or I would potentially need surgery surgery for. So if that's the case, a lot of these can be treated with a cast for, you know, typically four to six weeks uh, and then maybe a period of bracing after that. I'm told the proper winter boots with good traction can keep your kids safe this winter too. For Positive Parenting, I'm Megan Lee.